greetings I am the MMC of finance in the city of Eguruleni. One is obviously to note and equally welcome the decision through council at the initially what was the rejection. So before the withdrawal of the item of the institutional review was an overwhelming rejection of the item which we as the economic freedom fighters feel that it was a premature item to table before council more especially because there was no thorough political engagement outside of council and that uh, we're being coerced into an item finding reflection in council that ought to have been deliberated on way before it could actually come into council so that there is a relatively consensus now you can't have an institutional review without having assessed your strategic mission and vision for the city of Eurulene. And it comes as a backdrop of the uh, position of the economic freedom fighters to actually reject this particular report. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the, there is a consensus, however, in that we should really take down the number of HODs uh, from the uh, um, 26 that are uh, currently approved in the current structure and, and, and perhaps look at 15, 16 and uh, refining roles and responsibilities, delegating certain authorities to, to certain people, but we can't uh, not have, for example, the HOD of real estate if we're an organization in terms of uh, the city of Eguruleni who are to the firm belief that there must be a deliberate drive by government to actually institute infrastructure development because that needs to emanate from a government perspective before um, private citizens and private companies would actually want to invest. It should be on ourselves as the city. And once you take that responsibility and you make it a division as opposed to a fully fledged department on its own, you have relegated that resp responsibility of infrastructure development elsewhere and actually toned it down. And we should be focusing uh, more especially uh, in real estate, in uh, lease agreements to, uh, to advance economic development in the city but as well uh, taking a proactive stance in ensuring that uh, the city actually develops its own facilities to be world-class standards. As the man of the money for the city, uh, which, how do you feel about how the budget has changed, with cutting down to 14 people based on the document? Do you think you can cut a bit further or are you happy with the numbers? Initially when the uh, item was tabled be, before council in April, it was projecting roughly about 15 million rands in terms of, uh, of cost containment processes. Uh, but, I mean, you look at the need to fill vacant uh, posts, particularly those are critical to service delivery orientation, uh, you become sensitive to the fact that there's a lot of people who are unemployed, there's a lot of uh, people who have gone to school that can add you know, a, a value to the city of Eguruleni and ought to be incorporated. Uh, and at the same time, there has to be a way of looking at cost containment exercises by the city of Eguruleni. Uh, so it's a, it's a two-pronged approach that we need to take. Uh, we're currently standing about 38 billion projection uh, uh, in terms of uh, potential uh, monies that can be saved more especially at a high senior level management position. And if that 40 million can be saved at that level, which would be great, that money must actually be used to create job uh, and employment opportunities for uh, entry level. So we can't really say that we're going to save because that would be austerity measures that are put in place. If we are to say that we are saving on 40 million just to keep it and not spend it, when we know that uh, um, the entire money cycle in the city of Eguruleni revolves around hiring people, giving them money so that they can be economically active and therefore are in a position to pay for services that the city would then offer, meaning that the city would then have money and then there is that rotation that needs to take place. So in as much as we are saving at the senior level management position of the 40 million, we must equally create jobs for our people.